Another important question for women is, well, if you've had a blood clot in the past, or if you have a known thrombophilia, what is safe to use? Certainly, estrogen-based pills, vaginal rings, or patches are not safe. So we're really left with a few options. We have the progestin-only mini pill. This is a pill that's taken daily without a pill-free interval. It's a bit of a nuisance in that there's a much higher risk of contraceptive failure if you have a delay in taking the pill. And for women taking it, there is also a lot more breakthrough bleeding. Overall, though, it doesn't appear to increase the risk of blood clots. And this is recommended by many hematologists for women who are at risk of blood clots. Another option that we think about is the injectable progestin. You probably know it as Depo-Provera. It's given uh, one shot every three months. It's a convenient contraception for a lot of women in that you don't need to take it every day. It does reduce menstrual bleeding, but the package insert does contain a, a, a warning in terms of risk for clotting. The concern is that you're given such a high dose of progestin, this may precipitate a clot, so I don't know that it's safe, and I'm not comfortable putting my patients on this drug. In a woman who is already on Coumadin, I do use this drug, because women on Coumadin tend to have very heavy periods. This reduces bleeding, so I have used it in that setting, but I'm a little nervous in women who are not on Coumadin and are at risk for blood clots. Another option is the intrauterine device. Now, the most common one is the copper-containing intrauterine device. These work by interfering with sperm trans uh, transport and fertilization. Once they're placed, they can be left in for up to 10 years, and they do not carry any risk of blood clots. There is a newer intrauterine device, which is a progestin-releasing intrauterine device. This interferes with sperm transport and fertilization, and it also partially inhibits ovulation because it's a progestin-releasing device. It's also nice in women who are on Coumadin already in that it reduces menstrual bleeding. And for a lot of women, having this intrauterine de device placed, periods actually can stop for the time that you've got the device. It's effective for five years. To the best of our knowledge, it appears to be safe in women with blood clots. The only other things that we do have as options for women with blood clots are the barrier methods, condoms, and diaphragms. But unfortunately, the options are fairly limited, and for a lot of women, are not particularly convenient. So to summarize, for premenopausal women looking at contraception, you need to screen women for thrombophilias if they've had a blood clot in the past, or if they have a family history of blood clots or thrombophilias. If you've had a blood clot, you should avoid any estrogen-based contraception, and the progestin-only mini-pull or an intrauterine device are certainly reasonable options.